Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you were Batman patrolling the cold, grim streets of Arkham City? A place where society's worst have been encased within its decaying walls. A super prison that encompasses the dilapidated urban slums of Gotham City. It's not just a city, it's a fortress of despair and lawlessness. The atmosphere is palpable, a mix of dread and desperation, the air thick with the stench of fear and anticipation. Every corner, every shadow might hide a dangerous inmate, a denizen of this urban abyss, eager to claim their piece of the chaos. This is a place where the rule of law has been replaced by the rule of the jungle, where the strong prey on the weak, where justice is a forgotten concept, a place where hope seems to have abandoned. But wait, not all is lost. In the heart of this chaos, one figure stands against the tide of crime, Batman. Imagine yourself donning the cowl, stepping into the role of the world's greatest detective. Now, this isn't just anyone's role, but the legendary Batman's, a character as captivating as he is complex. With a blend of brute strength, incomparable intellect, and a plethora of high-tech gadgets, Batman is the epitome of a non-super-powered superhero. There's more to being the Dark Knight than just throwing punches, though. Strategy and stealth play a crucial role in your journey through the game, whether it's silently taking down enemies from the shadows or employing Batman's iconic gadgets to navigate the environment, every action requires careful planning and execution. You'll be using everything from the bat claw to pull down walls to the cryptographic sequencer to hack into security systems. Remember, Batman is a master tactician, a silent guardian, a watchful protector. So think, plan, and strike with precision. But even for Batman, Arkham City presents a challenge like no other. Behind the grim walls of Arkham City, a sinister plot is unfolding. Our journey begins with Bruce Wayne, the billionaire philanthropist, being captured and thrown into the heart of Arkham City. But little did his captors know, they had just locked the bat in the belfry. In the secrecy of his cell, Wayne transforms into the Dark Knight, Batman, ready to unveil the mysteries that shroud this city. The story of Arkham City is not just about Batman, it's a symphony of Gotham's most notorious villains, each playing their part in a grand, dark orchestra. The puppeteer pulling the strings of this macabre puppet show is none other than Hugo Strange. Strange, with his twisted sense of justice, has one objective, to create a city where the criminals can run wild, a city that he controls. Then, there's the clown prince of crime, Joker, whose laughter echoes through the alleyways, his chaotic plans intertwined with the fate of Arkham City. His health is failing, his laughter turning into a desperate cackle, yet his thirst for chaos remains unquenched. And let's not forget the cold, calculating penguin, who uses Arkham City as his personal playground, displaying a ruthless desire for power and control. His iceberg lounge serves as his fortress, a chilling testament to his icy reign. Two-Face, the former district attorney Harvey Dent, brings his unique brand of justice to Arkham City, his coin flipping between chaos and order. His duality mirrors the city itself, a place teetering on the edge of anarchy. Surrounded by these formidable foes, Batman must unravel the web of deceit spun around Arkham City. His detective skills are put to the ultimate test as he uncovers the true purpose of this city of villains. Each clue, each confrontation brings him one step closer to the truth. As the tale unfolds, Batman must navigate a web of deceit and danger. The night is dark and full of terrors, but remember, in Arkham City, the dark is where Batman shines. Arkham City is not just a prison, it's a playground for Gotham's most infamous villains. This is where the game truly shines, as it presents an assortment of villains, each with their own distinct characteristics and motivations, adding a layer of complexity to the game's narrative. First, there's the Joker, Batman's arch-nemesis. His unpredictable nature and cruel sense of humor make him a constant wildcard in the game. His goal? Chaos, pure and simple. He doesn't just want to escape Arkham, he wants to tear it apart from the inside out. Then there's Two-Face, the former district attorney of Gotham, now a disfigured criminal mastermind. He's driven by a twisted sense of justice, where every decision is left to the flip of a coin. In Arkham City he seeks to establish his own rule, a place where his coin flip law is the only law. Next we have Catwoman, a thief with a heart of gold. Well, maybe more like bronze. She's not exactly a villain, but she's no hero either. Her motivation is simple, survival. She's just trying to get by in Arkham City, using her wits and agility to stay one step ahead of the other villains. And let's not forget the Penguin, a mob boss with a penchant for the finer things in life. He's all about power and control, and he'll stop at nothing to claim Arkham City as his own personal fiefdom. 
Last but not least there's Mr. Freeze, a tragic figure driven by love and loss. His sole motivation is to find a cure for his terminally ill wife, and he's willing to freeze all of Gotham to do it. Each villain in Arkham City is a reflection of a different aspect of the city itself, chaotic, ruthless, cunning, powerful, and desperate. They're not just obstacles for Batman to overcome, they're integral parts of the narrative, contributing to the dark and oppressive atmosphere of Arkham City. Each villain presents a unique challenge, testing Batman's skills to their limits. Within the heart of Arkham City, a battle unfolds that will determine the fate of Gotham. As we delve into the climax of Batman Arkham City, we witness confrontations that are more than just physical battles. They are deep, psychological duels that test the very will of our Dark Knight. In the labyrinthine streets and towering rooftops of Arkham, a deadly game of cat and mouse ensues with none other than the Joker, Batman's arch nemesis. The Joker, with his maniacal laughter and chaotic schemes, is not just a villain. He's the embodiment of the chaos that threatens to consume Gotham. His confrontation with Batman is a dance of death, a test of wits, where every move could be a checkmate. The battle touches on the dichotomy between the two characters, the thin line that separates order from chaos, sanity from madness. Parallel to this, Batman also faces off against Hugo Strange, the mastermind behind Arkham City. Strange is a stark contrast to the Joker. Where the Joker is chaos, Strange is cold, calculated order. He's a puppet master, pulling the strings from the shadows, his plans meticulously laid out. His confrontation with Batman isn't just a battle of fists, but of ideologies. It's a clash between Batman's belief in justice and Strange's twisted vision of order. As the dramatic finale unfolds, Batman is caught in a whirlwind of events that push him to his limits. He's not just fighting against his enemies but also his own inner demons. The stakes are higher than ever before, and the Dark Knight must make tough decisions that will affect not just him but the entire city. In the end, Batman must make a choice that will shape the future of Gotham City. This choice, this moment, encapsulates the struggle of the Dark Knight. It's a testament to his resilience, his commitment to justice, and his unwavering dedication to the city he has sworn to protect. It's the ultimate testament to why, in the heart of darkness, there will always be a beacon. A beacon named Batman. And so the night draws to a close over Arkham City. But what is the legacy of Batman's darkest adventure? Arkham City is not just a backdrop for Batman's journey, but a character in its own right. Its towering structures and grimy alleys, its hidden secrets and lurking dangers all contribute to a world that feels alive, breathing with its own unique rhythm. It's a testament to the game's innovative design that the city feels so real, so tangible, a place that players can explore and lose themselves in. This game has left an indelible mark on the gaming industry, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in terms of storytelling and gameplay. The combination of stealth, combat, and exploration, along with the intricate puzzles and side missions, make for an engaging and immersive experience. Arkham City has set the bar high for future action-adventure games, showing that they can be more than just mindless button mashing. But it's not just the gameplay that's innovative. The compelling narrative, the complex character arcs, the moral dilemmas and hard choices, all contribute to a rich tapestry of storytelling that rivals the best of what other mediums have to offer. It's a game that takes the time to delve into the heart of Batman, to explore the man beneath the mask, to understand the burden of his mission. And yet despite the darkness, there's also a sense of hope. Batman, for all his flaws and struggles is a symbol of resilience, of determination. He's a beacon of light in a city overrun by shadows, and it's this duality, this tension between darkness and light that makes Arkham City, and Batman himself, so captivating. Batman, Arkham City is not just a game, it's an experience that takes us into the heart of Gotham, revealing the dark and complex world of the Batman.